Okay, here is a brief walk around in my wife's 2000 Jeep Cherokee Laredo, Grand Cherokee, sorry, uh, WJ. So, uh, we've done some brief modifications to it. Um, first thing we did was we took all of the uh, side paneling, the uh, stuff that always turns gray, that plastic, and we went and put bed liner on it, truck bed liner and made it nice sharp black. Sorry, there's an airplane. So as you can see, it really made it look sharp. And we've got rid of that faded out look that it comes with, so over time. So that was the first modification we did. Then we went ahead and put in two inch lift spacers budget boost so you can see on the front there we've got plenty of room on the tires and we've probably got 30 inches uh, tires on it now we're gonna go to 32s and you can see this is the back we got plenty of room might have to do a little trimming but I doubt it so that looked out pretty good there so original paint on this car uh, it's in pretty good shape Next thing we did is we put the CB in it, and you can see got about a four foot antenna, and it's mounted behind the tail light. It's a stainless steel mount. Let me open it up back here for a sec. So the cabling goes up through here along that panel and then down to the floorboard uh, once it gets in the passenger compartment and runs up past the driver's seat. Overall pretty good installation, pretty easy installation. Oh, you might see the four wheel drive sticker. We added that just to be cool, add a cool factor. So the American flag and the yours may go fast but mine can go anywhere sticker. So, uh, overall, it's a nice little uh, car, very off-road capable. Uh, the CB radio we put into it, let's look at that real quick. So, get inside here. Okay, so I'm filming all this with my phone, so if the video shakes a little bit, I apologize. So we've got a Midland 75822, and these are unique little CBs because they can be a, um, you can add a battery pack that it comes with, and it can be a handheld, or you can convert it like we've done here and have it be a mobile unit. So <clears throat> the power for it in this particular case is being ran off of the auxiliary power and it just plugs in to the cigarette lighter adapter and that comes with the kit and you can turn it on and you can turn, like, nobody's out here talking on this particular channel today so I'll turn it back off uh, but it's a nice little radio it's got 40 channels uh, you can have them uh, modded to give you the 40 uh, normal channels and then an L1 through 40 and then an, uh, a high 1 through 40 to give you 120 channels. Um, I've had that done, I haven't tested it, so I can't tell you, you know, how good it works, etc., etc. Um, so the antenna for this hookup just runs right th there and that allows me to run the 4 foot antenna. If I was to take it out and just use it as a handheld unit, I would unplug that, of course. Put the battery pack on instead of that adapter. Oh, my finger got in the way there, sorry. <sighs> Put the battery pack on instead of this adapter, and then it becomes a fully mobile unit. Now, uh, what did I do to the dash to mount the mic or the radio, however you want to phrase it? So basically on eBay, you come find these uh, adapter plates 
and this one's for the WJ and you pull the radio out and it mounts to the side and you put everything back in it's pretty cool you can see the back of this radio has just got a clip mounted to it so you just go ahead push it all the way down and it's right where you need it uh, so pretty cool little radio has weather uh, a lot of memory functions favorite channels all that good stuff so highly recommend this radio uh, and once again you know you can turn it into a, a mobile unit uh, or a handheld unit so if you're off-road you got two or three of these laying around talk vehicle to vehicle uh, if you got a passenger that's getting out and it's gonna tell you about the line you're gonna take you know uh, <laughs> they can have one that's a handheld and you've got this one so it works out pretty good uh, pretty pleased with it install was really uh, not too bad it's just running the cables of course um, and you know no damage to the vehicle to do the install so pretty good there I'm gonna go ahead while I'm here pop the hood so one of the other mods we did was this snorkel uh, so it is a unbranded snorkel and I bought this out of the United Kingdom off of eBay uh, because I searched all over the US and everybody wanted four or five hundred dollars for you know snorkels so this one cost me about hundred and fifty bucks bought and shipped to the US from um, the United Kingdom couldn't beat it uh, came with a full snorkel kit and a uh, washer bottle relocation kit because you have to relocate the washer bottle uh, when you install one of these and it's a pretty straightforward install it goes uh, you know right up into the normal sheet metal you drill about six screw excuse me six holes behind here and then a large diameter hole for the uh, for the actual snorkel opening itself uh, took a little finagling uh, but it always does when you start cutting sheet metal and trying to attach things so if I open the hood Now we can see that the water bottle, uh, excuse me, washer tank has been relocated and this is the top filler portion now. So uh, nothing you can't do with normal hand tools, take a little modification. The actual uh, snorkel intake for the air box is under this hose here. You can't really see it too good here. Um, but yeah, it worked out really good. Um, I'd say about a three hour install because you know, you're cutting sheet metal, you're uh, test fitting, you're putting it all back together and kind of going from there. Uh, when we uh, rhino lined the bumpers, we went ahead and blacked out the grill as well. And like I said, overall, we're really happy with it. So um, we went ahead and uh, with that two inch spacer lift, we're going to probably go for the 30 inch tires and go to 33s and give it a pretty good off-road stance really happy with the the budget boost on it gave us a lot of room uh, to apply the new tires uh, just going to get to that when we can so overall we're really happy with the way it's turned out so far it's a little you know not a lot of modifications not a heavy duty build just doing things slowly so that everything looks the way we want it to look. Uh, my wife loves these uh, uh, four-wheel drive stickers that we got. They're kind of like a Willys model. Uh, really pops on this particular color and background. So can't say enough about how much we really enjoy this uh, vehicle. Very capable off-road, uh, and the more we put into it and build out, the better it's going to get. Uh, you know, if I had my druthers, I'd put a four inch lift and, you know, build it out. But projects only evolve. So money and time, you do a little as you can and uh, build it the way you want it to eventually turn out. So overall, very happy with it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in your comments.